In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go out to YouTube, bring up a video, highlight and copy the video address so that you can paste it into another website to download a YouTube video that can then be reincorporated back into a Photoshop project on your timeline panel. So here in Photoshop, I'm gonna to go to File and New. I'll set up the most basic YouTube size video, which is 640 pixels by 360 pixels high. Make sure the resolution is 72 pixels per inch and make sure your measurements again are pixels, not inches. 640 by 360. So there's our basic standard YouTube video size. And I'm going to come down to my web browser, Safari here, that I've already set up. And I'm going to go into YouTube.com. Right up here at the top under the search bar, I'm going to type in Marvel Opening Sequence. And you got a couple of them here, but I'm going to go with this one right here. I'll click on it. We'll let it just play, start to play. Okay, there we go. Now you can pause this during any part of the video. I'll just pause it. And then right up here on your web browser, you click in the address bar, you can click and highlight that entire address. That's the location of this YouTube video. And I will go to edit and copy that address. Then with the same address, I highlight it and I go to another website, www.youtube, the number two, video.com. YouTube to video.com. You can see it right there. YouTube, number two, video.com. Now, right here in this bar, I'm going to click and go to edit, paste. I'm going to paste in the address of that YouTube video and I will click convert video. Now it's going to find that website address. There's the video right there. Okay, and since I want to incorporate that back into a Photoshop file, I want to download it as an MP4. So what I'm going to do on my Mac, I'm going to hold down my control key. You don't just want to click download here. I'll do it anyway, because that's just going to go to another window right here. And it's just going to play back your video again. Okay, so let me stop that. I'm going to close this window. When I have the download button, I hold my control key and click on it and I download the linked file as and it's going to say reference. Okay, but this is going to download as an MP4 video. So for demo purposes, I'm just going to put it out on my desktop and I'll save it. Download and save it to my desktop. And now I'm going to close my web browser here. Uh, let's get rid of all this, get rid of that. Okay. Come back into Photoshop. And for a video project, first I'm just going to go to Window and Timeline. Okay, there's my Timeline panel. And it says Create Video Timeline. So I'm going to click that. There's my Timeline for videos. And now I go to File and Open. Even though I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to open a video file right there, reference.mp4. We'll click open and we'll bring that into Photoshop here. Okay, here's my timeline playback. So all I have to do is hit the space bar and we'll see if that plays back here in Photoshop. There we go. Okay, and now I've taken the video from YouTube, brought it into Photoshop. If I wanted to move it, I could just take my move tool, drag it up, wait a second, and drop it in. And we'll put it right back there, kind of situated with our Photoshop file, 360 by 640 pixels, same thing. And now that I'm in my Photoshop file, not the video, we'll close that. I'm in my Photoshop file. I can hit the space bar and let's see if it plays in Photoshop. There we go. 
So this can be the beginning of my Photoshop video project. I can make my video project feel like a Marvel movie. Okay, and just to show you again that this is Photoshop, I'm gonna go with white. I'm gonna click on my type tool here. And I'm just gonna click anywhere. Let me click up here first. Let's make our type white. Click and I'll say starring Chris Nielsen. I'm gonna highlight on my type right there. Set my type bigger. So I am the star of this demo video here. There we go. And let's scroll back. And I'm gonna move my type back to the beginning. Now right here I can stretch that out so my type shows up a little bit longer. And just so my type stays, you can scroll like this. You can see it staying on the screen. But right when I get to the end of this purple bar, that's when it turns off and then I continue. So let's see if it works. Now I am part of the mighty Marvel Universe. And then we move on to the rest of the uh, opening sequence. But you can see the possibilities here. So I'm going to hit my space bar. Stop that. And then I can continue on. The main thing is whenever you download or gather any files for a video project, you should not just simply download them to your desktop. They should go in a job folder because this video is a link to the original video that I saved on my desktop. Always have a job folder. Okay, and you'll go through that in other video project tutorials later on. But that's how you use YouTube to video.com to download and incorporate YouTube videos right into your Photoshop projects.